Pooja's calling, we have used the cutting edge AI tools and coding to develop the chatbot, which can tell you how scammers generally behave. Uh, so you can learn uh, beforehand uh, to stay safe in such situations. We have also used uh, music and videos and creative content to spread the awareness about scams and various uh, modus operandi of the scams. Uh, we are also building a community of people who have been victims of such scams and recording their stories and empowering them uh, to spread this message to other people so they don't feel when someone uh, new falls victim to such scams, they don't feel they are alone. <music> One of the first thing that uh, I uh, found you when I started this project is how many people actually have been victim to such scams uh, where uh, everyone I shared this idea with uh, told me their own stories and their friends stories and that was the first time that I realized that it's uh, such a massive huge problem. Uh, also uh, from when I started the project I was looking at it from the perspective of how do you uh, make people aware so they didn't fall victim but I think uh, we have to do uh, same amount of work in reducing the victimhood that people feel after being uh, victims to such pe such things and this is the direction that we are taking now. an audio based game that we developed from scratch um, we used uh, the software called unity to write all the code for the game and because it's an audio based game we try to challenge our creativity by developing a game that evokes a strong sense of imagery in the player's mind as they play the game and of course this wouldn't have been possible without the support of the community of people who work with visual impairments who constantly helped us understand uh, how to make the game, various aspects of the game, uh, more intuitive or accessible for everyone. There was this one moment during the project which I don't think I'll ever forget. Um, I was at the Xavier's Resource Center for the Visually Challenged uh, for a user testing session uh, for our prototype. Um, Two hours after our testing was done, I was sitting in the back room uh, just compiling all the feedback and suggestions that I had received. And then I packed everything up and I was walking back out through the testing room when I noticed that there were still two students sitting at their computers and trying to play this game on repeat out of frustration in order to get a perfect score and that was just incredible to see. Threads is a digital archive of events of social significance. For code, we are digital, we are accessible. For creativity, we are medium agnostic. We document with illustrations, articles and comics to name a few. For community, we strive to remember what makes us a community and that which threatens its very fabric. All our digital software and digital information is free. Free to access, free to use, and free to modify. We pride ourselves on our commitment to keep it that way. In addition to the main video streaming feature, TST aims to include informative content about the events being viewed or scheduled. All the features of the platform is designed and implemented using an approach based on co-design. Co-design or participatory design is a methodology based on involving end users and other stakeholders in the conception and design of a product or technology targeting them. Our project draws from contemporary performance systems as diverse as immersive theatre, augmented realities, pervasive games and new models of spectatorships in streaming and web-based media. It further demonstrates the functions and processes of thinking digitally. The project will give back in the following way. Uh, 
माय थिएटर ग्रुप शूद्र का हैदराबाद विल सून डिजाइन अ डिजिटल थिएटर वाया द रीअरेंजमेंट्स ऑफ द टेम्पोरल एंड स्पेशियल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ द ऑडियंसेस एक्सपीरियंस हाइब्रिडाइजिंग इंटीमेट एंड लाइव एनकाउंटर्स विद परफॉर्मेंस इन नॉन ट्रेडिशनल स्पेसेस Potential users of the website have asked for a dedicated social network for exchanging information and opinions on the cultural contents. This is quite a revelation to us and appears to be a very interesting and promising opportunity for the potential users.